Okay. Let me get this straight. The three of you went into Professor Middleton's office. Actually, we broke in. The door was locked. Well, I'm not gonna lie to her. I see. You broke in. And we'll deal with that one later. So then, Corinne entered and was sucked into a vortex. That's pretty much what happened. Professor Zachary. <clears throat> I went to the office, but I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. I also checked her room. Now, she wasn't there, but it did look like a tornado had hit half the room. Uh, that's my half. Anyone think of asking me what happened? We know what happened. We were there. Oh, and did you know that her parents came and picked her up 20 minutes ago? She's checked out of the school. That's bull. L Loney. <laughs> she didn't check out. Well, not in the normal way. Miss Trent, <laughs> I can see that your stay here is going to be a very challenging one for both of us. I expect you to help me box up Corinne's things to send to her new school in Switzerland, as I was instructed to do by her parents when they picked her up. Now, and this is for the three of you, stop snooping around. There is nothing wrong at Blake Holsey High, and you're scaring the other students. Professor Zachary, I'm going to make them your responsibility. Me? But I, I didn't do anything. Then I... you'd better start. Good day. Mr. Pearson, we've lost another one. And this time, it's a student. We saw it, right? I mean, it was right there in front of us. Corinne was sucked into the floor. That's what I saw. So maybe you guys can let in the possibility that maybe the woolly mammoth was in the pool last summer? Okay, look, there's a big difference between getting sucked into the floor and having an extinct hairy beast bathe in the pool. Uh, okay, so there, there's not a big difference. But in both cases, people saw things that couldn't possibly have happened. There's articles on this. It's, it's a form of mass... Uh, okay, what are you looking at? What's on the other side of that wall? What's left of Paradigm Industries. It was destroyed years ago in a lab explosion. Victor Pearson never reopened it. Hey, Dad. What you looking at? Nothing. accident. No, wait. I won't hurt you. Who are you? An old friend. I don't know you. Fifteen years ago, I was a lab assistant at Paradigm Industries. I was involved in a top secret project. There was an explosion. I was trapped. You saved me. <laughs> Excellent story, lady, but impossible. You see, this happened 15 years ago. Well, guess what? I'm 14. There was another young girl. You came for her. And you saved me. Corinne. There isn't much time. You must go. Uh, but how? Only you know that. A black hole? You got a better idea for me having been someplace I couldn't possibly have been? Makes sense to me. You're starting to scare me, Marshall. No, no, no. Think about it. Einstein Rosen Bridge, a.k.a. a black hole. A tunnel between points in time and space. It would explain everything. Our vortex is really a black hole. Okay, so now that we've got ourselves a black hole, what do we do with it? Go through it and get Corinne. We're going with you. That's right. Uh, thanks, guys. Oh, one thing. I read somewhere that if a black hole isn't the right kind of black hole, anything that goes in it can be torn apart. Atom by atom. Um, maybe somebody should stay back. Yeah, I actually think that two people should do that. It's been fun hanging with you guys. Later.
Nothing. It's... Whoa. seconds but we still have to get going go on Josie okay I'm going There uh, is no hole in the floor. Oh, hi. I said this office is off limits. Uh, Professor Z was just showing us exactly what wasn't here. And that there was no way possible for anyone to get sucked into a hole that wasn't there. Oh, and look who's back. Corinne, guess she didn't like Switzerland. Bonjour. Guess not. They're good kids. They really are good kids. Hey guys, so what's up? 
we were um, we were wondering if you were gonna maybe join the science club. <laughs> Me, one of you. I don't think so. Will you be there tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> They look fine to me, Amanda. I'm telling you, something happened in that office. And they're not talking. Well, we'll just have to keep an eye on them, won't we? 